Honoring veterans on Veterans Day, a wounded Marine who served in Iraq war is paying it forward. After receiving transportation from two generous organizations, he decided to lend other veterans a helping hand. 7 Action News reporter Darren Cunningham at the Henry Ford Museum to explain how the war hero is taking action. In Fallujah, it was kind of like the Wild West when I was there. August 15, 2004. United States Marine Richard Silva recalls the day his base in Iraq came under attack by an IED at a tactical checkpoint. His friend and fellow Marine Jeffrey Perez had just relieved him. He um, jokingly kind of made a pact to each other. God forbid if something happened to one another, we would name a child in the other Marine's honor. And unfortunately, Jeffrey passed in my arms. Two days later, another attack. I landed up taking shrapnel on uh, my right leg, which I have an implant. I broke my neck, shoulder. Silva says other troops died that day, but 32 surgeries later, he's still here. We caught up with him and his family at the Henry Ford Museum. Citizens Bank was also on site. The bank met Silva through the Military Warriors Support Foundation and gifted his family a second vehicle last year after they moved to Michigan from San Diego, making it easier for them to get around and his son Jeffrey to play travel hockey. Silva has extended the generosity using his new vehicle to pay it forward. Gifting this car to us means I'm able to take veterans to Ann Arbor, um, not only the VA or downtown. Taking fellow veterans to their appointments. Just the feedback is awesome. Guests at the Henry Ford also had an opportunity to make holiday cards for veterans as well as for active duty military members and their families. Citizens Bank says it's a chance to thank heroes like Silva for their service and sacrifice. Proud of his work and grateful for his service. Kind of like my service in Iraq, right? You don't see the effects, the ripple effect down the line and it's kind of like a pebble being thrown in the lake. It gets bigger and bigger as it grows. In Dearborn, Darren Cunningham, 7 Action News. We thank him for his service and paying it forward.